We are live, we are live, or we will be in a minute. We will be in a minute. Going live, going live. Oh, there we go. There you go, we're live. And we're broadcasting to quite a lot of people, by the looks of it. Okay. Yes, there we go. And uh, if I click on there. Then I can go live and see what people are saying. There you go. Right. Hi, guys. How you doing? We have got two lights in here today. Um, and I've also got my light up on the camera. So that just gives that a little bit different. Um, last video was okay. Um, got some good feedback. Everyone enjoyed it. But unfortunately, I had to delete it because it wasn't good enough for me. And it, it, uh, the keyboard wasn't balanced so i'm going to take a little bit of time to get these keyboards balanced this time before we go uh, and do anything so uh, if you're listening on the side there let me know which keyboards are too loud and which keyboards are not loud and then i can uh, balance things out i can do it on the phone but i'm only uh, um, up to a certain sound uh, right so we're going to start them level all in a line and then see where that goes. So what I'm going to do is one keyboard at a time. Obviously this one sounded about level last time. Got a nice meter reading on there on the uh, on the mixer and the built-in mixer on the um, the keyboard there. Let's have a look. That's that's running okay. So yeah, that's that's a nice little level. Now we're going to see if this one's about the same level. So yeah, just get a bigger one, I think. So that sounds okay there. I mean, everything's level in the studio, um, but obviously it sounded a little bit different going through the phone. See, that's quiet. That's kind of quiet to me. That's about like talking. And of course, I've got the microphone here, so it's picking up a little bit more. And what a lot of people don't realise is on these keyboards, they have got their own monitor speakers. So although I've got speakers around me, I'm um, also hearing what the keyboards are producing, so that's going to be a little bit confusing when I try to level things off, but it's, the sounds are straight at me like. But then of course you've not got the complete right level of what's coming through the actual satellites and going through the network. So I'm uh, going to have a quick... I mean that's nice and clear. So I've got the microphone, spot on. So what I need to do there is I'm not going to actually whiz it back. Because <laughs> it's live, so we can't whiz myself back. But I can only do that again and have a quick listen. It's about 10 second gap delay. Okay, so that sounds all right. So now I'm going to try the middle one. That's a better level. So all together I can hear the difference there now. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll do the one down here. I might bring this one up a bit actually, because it's starting to get a backache. Eh? Mm. 
that sounded about right. So I've got the levels about right on those. I think they'll be a lot better sound this time because the middle keyboard was really belting it out. Yeah, and uh, the video was it's good, it was okay, but it didn't really sound good enough for me because I, I was playing things. Top keyboard and the bottom keyboard was very, very quiet. This one was really loud. And uh, this one shouldn't be far off. That shouldn't be far off, it's just... Okay, I mean, on a monophone, that's pretty good. So I'm just monitoring through there. So I think I'm quite happy with the sound going through there, guys. So you're hearing me now through the headphones. Okay, happy to do that. Lovely. Hi, Jeremy and Emily and also Tim. Thanks for joining us. All right, if you say a few things, it goes up on this screen. And I can see who's on this screen. And if anyone says anything, it goes on the big screen. <laughs> so, all good stuff. And we've got plenty of lights in here now, but I'm, I'm only running two little disc scale lights at the moment. Just running the... Let's turn that thing down. <laughs> I don't need it now, so I've just got that by right. So basically, in the, more, in the corner here, I've got a little mini dome. And uh, I've got my laser. Um, one of my little laser lights, and it's shining a light over in there. And uh, believe it or not, there's only just those lights going. And then I've also got my light on top, which has got the built-in camera. If I just bring the other camera up to show you. There you are. There's a, there's a light there that shows on the bottom of the keyboard. And uh, it's running through this 4K light camera here. And if I click this button here, I can change the camera to the one that it's showing on the keyboard. All these keyboards. mates come in there. Hello there, it's my uh, Jean 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 guy <laughs> from France. How hey, are you mate? Uh, Oxygen Radio, that's the one I think it is. <laughs> How are you sir? Are you all okay? Okay, well it's been a warm day here, I don't know what it's been like in France, but uh, it's been quite warm, but we've been having some thunder, so I'm going to take that microphone not quite in my face, that's just about here somewhere. <laughs> So that's not too bad. As normal, I never program anything. As normal, I never never plan anything. I just pick a tune, pick an E, pick a rhythm, hum a tune and play it. <laughs> so uh, let's chill out, guys, shall we? Let's try this one. Evening, Jonathan. How are we doing?
one Jean Vizior stuff there. Um, well, it, it could be Jean Vizior stuff, but uh, it was mine. <laughs> hey, we've got a few people being over there. Hello, we got Libby, we've got Martin Woods. Hello, how are you doing, mate? And we've got, uh, uh, what's that, Valando? Valando, thank you very much for watching tonight. I hope you enjoy it. We do this Saturday night chill out in the studio, and uh, I just basically get the keyboards together, and <laughs> well, they're always here anyway, and, uh, and play a few things. Um, so what's coming up this week at the moment? I'm still just finishing off the um, 432 Relax and number 12 album, which is uh, the Mars. That's the chill out one for that one. That will be available soon. Possibly, I've got, I've done, yeah, I've done six tracks. I've got four more to finish that one off. And then we go into the next planet. So the next planet, planet would probably be what we've got from Mars. Where are we going to go from there? We've got to go for uh, probably Mercury is the next one, or the next one along. I don't know which one it'll be. I'll have to have a look to see which one we go with. And then what I'll do is uh, have a listen to um, some a real sound of what they are. Uh, with the microphone in space when they set some um, um, rovers over there, these planets. And then what I do is manipulate them as close to what I can, tweak them a bit with a mixer, and uh, and then you hear the uh, stuff. That's all we've done in 432, because all these are 432 frequency tuned. Um, so basically, that's what you get out. So yeah, we've got quite a few things going on. We've got sell the caravan, we've got some Range Rover, because we've got another Range Rover. To pull a little caravan, I want a smaller caravan, I want a big caravan now. <laughs> so that's all different. Yeah, so we're in the process of doing all sorts of things. So, how are we doing guys? Are we all chilling out, enjoying life, as we say? Um, apart from the rain, rain today, didn't it? Got did our bell down. Where are we? There we go. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so it rained a little bit today. Um, to yeah, so uh, a lot of people ask me what we got here then. Well, we've got Casio keyboards, believe it or not. These are the best of the best, really. These, When these came out, they was in the 80s. Um, so it's quite old. They're 40-year-old keyboards. Whoops, 40-year-old keyboards. And um, quite rare, very rare to put them fine now, like. Um, and when they came out, you were looking about, that would be two and a half thousand pound. So that's expensive, because back in the 80s, two and a half thousand pound was quite a lot of money. <laughs> so a lot of the people, these, these keyboards sort of didn't really go into the UK. Um, you've got some very special people that bought these, and probably, probably people that got lot, lots of money, and there was high in the music trade. Because some, some of these came out of a studio anyway. I know, knew some people. But uh, I pulled them off. <laughs> I mean, this one was made with um, Skyfall, I think it was. The guy that um, did the Skyfall, he, he had this keyboard. And I bought it from the guy in Blackburn. That was a fair way to go, but for the price, it was worth it. Um, in fact, one of, the, one of the registrations on there is probably what he used, actually, for Skyfall. I can't remember what he... There's loads of different things on this thing. Eighty different banks on there, and there's eighty different styles and sounds and that. Um, but of course, you can manipulate and you can do everything with it. Um, if I just change over to show you, so you've got all slide controls here. They do all the sliders. Um, you've got uh, multi pads here. You've got multi trackers down here. You've got effects here. Since you've got the mixer, you've got draw bars. So you can use any of these um, four little modes which go on to these. So you can run them from draw bars. You've got your registrations here, which are about eight, 80. Like I said, there's banks of eight. So times that by 10. So you've got 80 there. Variations you've got four variations. You've got two two types of fill-ins, you can go for us backwards or a normal one, you've got an intro, you've got an endings, um, you've got fades in, fades out, you've got riffs, you can do loads of things with that. Loads and loads of different sounds on it. I will be going through it steadily with my little GoPro on my head so I can show you exactly how they all work this week. That's, that's what I've done. I did it all with this one, so if you see some of the videos on uh, my YouTube, um, I think I did quite a few, about 10 of them I think probably. 
and uh, they basically was showing every single button that this keyboard's got and every single button what that doesn't. So it gives you an idea what they are. I mean, these are 30, 40 year old, th that's a 30 year old. Hang on, let's do that one again. <laughs> 40 year old keyboards, these are 30 year old keyboards. Full size, and they say there was about two grand when they first came out. Didn't have them then, obviously. Um, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, obviously the price came down over the years, and uh, luckily I picked them up for just under, let's say, 150, uh, 100. And 60 and 130 I think this one was um, so not, no, not big money but there again the um, there was old keyboards at the time still well looked after um, and they are still now as new as the day they came out really because I've looked after them and serviced them every every now and again pull them apart and put them together again <laughs> and, uh, and yeah they, they sound brilliant going through a 12 channel mixer um, and I've also got my headset on here, so I can talk to you guys. I've also got a camera there, a 4KG camera there, and I've got another 4K one up here, which does all things. It probably won't be kicking in 4K at the moment because what it's doing is looking for the best light. Um, if I hit this light on here, which is basically a, a ring lamp, this, this is a ring lamp, <laughs> one of them things. Uh, yeah, you can see the ring lamp. Uh, then basically that uh, that would give it a bit of, as you can see now, it's obviously picking up an even better picture now, light and all clearer. So the ring lamp works really well, actually. I picked that up for about uh, 10, 10 pound. Uh, I think they were about 30 pound, but uh, it's brilliant. There's all different colours and everything. And Jonathan knows all about that. You have to have the right light to get to it, because otherwise the cameras will be struggling to actually get the light. I mean, it's dark in here, believe it or not. I've only got this laser going over there, and I've only got another little light going over there, and that's really all I've got going, apart from the light up top there, which is shining down on the keyboard. So, uh, yeah, it's quite dark in here, but, but the aperture on that camera is fantastic. It really is. It really is. Good. Okay, Gino's in there. Hello, Gino. Roger's in there. Hey, <laughs> we're all in there. Good. Bit more music then, shall we have? <laughs> Why not? What we're going to do? I have a clue. Let's let's press. Let's just press a few buttons and see where we go, shall we? That's, that's a good idea. Press a few buttons. Press a few buttons. He says. Um, shall we take it from there? Or take it from, what sounds that was? What's this sound like? Okay, it's got a sound on it. I'll put a DPS on. Well, DPS is basically um, automatic um, effects and sounds and reverbs and things all to put together. Gives that whirly sound. Let's see what we got then. So um, we'll go straight in, I think. Oh, bit of an interesting one.
little bit of a Vangelis stuff there. <laughs> nice bit of Vangelis there. Okay, so let's have a bit of orange. Yeah, all good. It is all good. Ah, Ian's just joined us now. Hello, Ian. How you doing, mate? Hope you're well. Yeah, we've got the old uh, different lights in this time. So, uh, any guys out there as record people? There's some original vinyls there. I've got, I've got more around here, actually. 3,000 of them. 3,000, 3,500. You've got the Motown stuff at the top there. That's worth a bit. Um, and then we've got the Beatles stuff down here, original. So I'm thinking of getting rid of the whole lot, um, get rid of the cabinet, the whole lot, five grand, something like that, let, let it go cheap. Because um, obviously, uh, if someone that sells them off, <laughs> they're going to have a fortune there. Um, so that's another thing that's got to go, because I want to put my pictures there. I've got, I've got some certificates I keep earning through my, um, my uh, learning of all this... Uh, how to do all this social media stuff like and you get uh, tickets uh, you get certificates by uh, so many um how far you get down the line like it's uh, it's, it's all free a thing like but um video iq that's what it is it helps you um do your streaming stuff like that and uh, helps you put your videos on helps you do the word in helps you do the, the tagging got to get the tagging right to get the word in the word has got to get right to recognize the tagging. So, so that's how you get found on these social media stuff and that like, you see. Um, so it's all, <laughs> all computerized stuff and everything. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me laugh actually, because um, everyone's uh, frightened about this AI stuff, but I, I, think, I think it's a brilliant idea. I, I love it. I, do, I, I use it for my covers. Um, I've done one or two bits of music with it through Boomi. That's uh, um, an AI software thing. Um, but I was uh, we were watching Casualty in the way that uh, I couldn't believe it really. I mean, obviously they're doing a good job, but nowadays well, there's, there's probably 20 people got a go of the guy when he done his leg, and uh, then they went into another room, and another 20 people got there, and another 20 people. And I had this idea that in the future I could see what's, what's going to happen is when you go into a hospital, you just wouldn't go in hospital. You, you sort of chat. You go into a lane. So if you're going to have something done, you, you pick what you're going to have done. You get on the um, the um, conveyor belt, and uh, you program in what you want done. And basically, you'll just go through a conveyor belt. I don't. This is where I think um, doctors and nurses might lose their jobs on the AI systems, because that's where they'll take over. Because it's like you on a conveyor belt, and instead of having load. 20 people in one room, another 20 people in, another 20 people in. Um, the computer will do it all, and it'll, it'll do by robots. How they do cars, you see, they start off with a, on, a, on a, a, a base, and then they come out as a, a full car, like, well, I could see that's how the hospitals in the future will be. Um, because you'll be on a conveyor belt, you'll go into the first section, robots and arms, you'll get over, you do what you want, and then you go to the next one and that. But, um, I mean, the technology is going that good nowadays that um, they can actually make um, organs and all that sort of thing. I follow a lot of groups, actually, um, and this technology and all that. Keep up to date with everything like that. Um, interest in engineering groups and things like that. It's, it's really amazing what there is happening. Um, you can build a house now through... Um, and a printer, you know, it's, it's, um, that's how they're going to do it on the moon, because when they go to the moon and Mars and that, they're going to build their own houses through 3D printers. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So you won't have to take anything with you, just, just a load of coil for this big 3D printer. I mean, they are actually making houses now around the world with these things. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing, I love technology. <laughs> so, let's go pick another one. What have we got on? Oh, da, 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 we ain't done this one yet, have we? Um, this is where we've got to go down lower. I reckon it's giving me bad back, actually. It might change the, it might bring these all up a bit, actually. You can see next time it'll probably come a bit higher. <laughs> so I'll have that one there, that one there, and another one up here. <laughs> That's a space chuck. That's what that one is. That's a glass bar. That's a metal pad. That's a halo pad. That's a sweep. That's ideal for the ambient stuff. That's that's a great one. That is. 
Let's see what we got on the rhythm. That's quite a bit more bit a bit more beat for our uh, ambience. We could probably uh, bring that down a bit though. Yeah, I can do some ambient stuff on that. I'll bring in the DBS size.
Woo! <laughs> space music. <laughs> Bit of space music tonight. Yeah, we've got those synthesizers going tonight. Trev's there. Hello, Trev. How you doing, mate? If you want any disco gear, let me know because I'm selling my disco gear. Disco gear. Disco here, disco there. That's what I've got through the lights in here. <laughs> so uh, watch, watch the um, um, local um, selling place, because uh, but I'm selling them. So you can add to your discos. <laughs> it's a lot easier now for me to just take a laptop out to a place where it's already got the stuff, and then I just plug it straight in. and Don't have to carry the lights, don't have to carry the speakers, don't have to carry everything else. In fact, the speakers are gone now. But them big speakers in the side there, 500 with the domes, they're gone. Um, so I've got some lasers to go, I've got some dome lights to go, I've got some stage lights, I've got all sorts of things to go. So uh, watch this space. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? We've got a all sorts of things. Um, yes, I don't know. <laughs> As I say, I never program anything. Hum the tune and play it, one of those. <laughs> Let's just pick something, I just pick something. I just... I think it's good that way because you, you, you bring your mind out and you, you, you can try and do all sorts of things. It's a nice whirry sound there. Okay, let's see what that does then. So we'll chuck it on the old one touch button. Okay, we've got a trumpet there. Bang, guitar there. Scott. <laughs> Interesting. Not quite synthesizer. I think we'll change them a little bit. Let's, uh, let's change the upper manual up to a synth pad. Like that. Synth 2 will change on the second level. We'll put some uh, pads in that one. No, we won't put a pad there. We'll put a prop poly, poly synth. Got a bit of a sweep on that. Two together. Oh, I like that. And the lower manual, we're going to put a synth flare on, I think. I like that, that's cool. So we'll put the second layer on the, th the level and we put a synth lead on that. That's a bit too much there. Uh, square on. Yeah, like that. Bring them two together. Okay, yeah, let's see what beat, beat we've got. Interesting. So, okay, we've got one of normal standards. Uh, a little bit of Jean Michel Jean stuff, I think. What I'll do is I'll put a full range chord in.
And that was just done by a normal 8-beat. Eight, eight um, but we, we mixed a few pads in there. And uh, I used the synthesizer, what Van Gelis used to use, to get all them effects. So we, we, we've laid a few pads on there. Which I think, we, what have we laid? We laid on some warms on there. And we've laid on to Halo. And we've also laid on some crystals. And also some sound trackers. And what I've done is I've ch changed the keyboard layout round by a little button here. It says full range chords. And the Casios were the first ones that brought these things out, so they're very famous for these. And what it is, you normally have a keyboard that's split from here to here. There are all the chords, there are all the melodies. But Casio went one step further, and now Technics have got it in and all like. Um, and what they did, they, they sort of made the keyboard all in one, like so you could do a chord everywhere. And this is how we get all these special effects. Plus a, plus a nice sway on there and all. And that could bring and um, enhance the sway by the modulation. Obviously with the pitch bend helps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's how we, uh, and that's most of the effects that Van Gelis used to use for Blade Runner, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all. That's, that's the same keyboard. I've got the uh, synth. Uh, what is it? Yamaha. It's a CZ80, which were made in 70, 74, I think it was made. It's a real old keyboard, but it's very, very heavy. It weighs about uh, 25 kilos, and it takes about two or three people to lift it. Um, the stands he had made when he used to play these two big keyboards um, were custom made. Uh, massive heavy duty stands like, because these things were, oh, he didn't pick them up, but uh, <laughs> I think the roadies uh, picked them up. It needed four people in one each corner. Amazing thing like, but um, I mean, if you can pick one up nowadays, they're 100 and, I think I did see one the other day, 125,000. Um, and that's a 1974 synthesizer, which could go out to an any time. It's not reliable. It's... <laughs> Um, but, but they are very collector's items, you know, I wouldn't want one because I'll, I'll have something more reliable, which is these. Like. But the good thing about it is you can actually have the same synthesizer, which is here, because when these came out, that was just about the modern version of the uh, CZ80, I think it was. Yamaha CZ80, um, that's what it was. And that's how I did all the um, special effects, like uh, Blade Runner and all that stuff. Funny enough, if you look, I don't know if you can see that from here, but um, here we've um, I've got I've got a picture of the uh, CZ80 anyway. <laughs> like so, I know that them sounds there are all from that keyboard. I mean, you can have pads, you can have poly synths. Sound about the same really until I take them off by one by one. So you got the sweep if you remember that in Blade Runner.
And then they got your rain where it was raining at the end. Soundtrack and all, I think there was the soundtrack system on this one. When, they, when the actual vehicles were going through um, from one side to the other, the screen like. sensitive by uh, velocity control on the keyboards. Amazing, <laughs> even, even 40 year old keyboards, it was a, um, way ahead of the time. Um, Casios were, and Technics were, and all of that was way ahead of the times. Um, yeah, but there's some real amazing sounds on these things. And you got metal pads. <laughs> There's even a special pad called an SF, I don't know what it does, but uh, it's, it's quite a cool one. <laughs> then you got space bells. Absolutely amazing. So you can really get lost on these things. There's so many different sound effects. And of course, that's without all the slide effects and the, um, the controls you use. And down here, these, these, um, these slides, you see, they all do things. If I go into synth, when I go into a, um, upper, we'll do you with upper two. So we've got that there. Do the chord, you've got the chord, the, the wave, sway, sway, sway. But you also can change the results, re results and the cutoff and the vibes and the vibes and the releases and things like that. It's sharp where you can take it louder. And you have it sliding all the way through. A 
and you know, so with the release you can also put um, a little bit of uh, a pre -cut, cut. Hardly anything there, you see, we can bring it back in. Also bring the results back. <laughs> Amazing. And then of course if you want to start that, you just press it straight onto the um, registration. And that takes it back to another sound. All uh, amazing stuff, all amazing stuff. Okay, put it back to that one. Even you could take it a normal instrument and you can actually put the synthesizer in the background and bring it to more um, different effects. Yeah, they're, they're violins. stuff <laughs> I love it. so where are we i lost now um yeah so i hope you're enjoying that uh, a little bit of a trip around the old studio with the our keyboards and uh, we will go into a bit more depth um in the week i'll have my gopro on my head again and we'll go right through these in depth because there's not many videos with these um these actual keyboards that uh, showing people how they actually work <laughs> so if you do actually come across one which is very rare but uh, you never know might be an old studio being cleaned out one day and uh, you've come to across the keyboard and you think ah oh, Steve was on about one of those so put the video on boom, and there he is <laughs> incidentally any firms listening that want me to do any um, demos with their keyboards Send me one and uh, we'll see what we can do. I've got a 12 channel mixer there, so I'm sure I can plug it in. Okay, so they're the, um, the 40 year old keyboards, and now we're gonna make a racket with the other one. <laughs> so we've got 10 minutes, let's, let's, uh, let's enjoy ourselves a bit, shall we? Okay, so I hope you're enjoying it, and if you do like my music, go to Bandcamp. I always keep going on about this because I never stream my music. Ooh, that's better. Sit up properly, that's better. I know you're back then. 
Um, so what we've got here, we've got the techniques, and uh, basically it's 30 year old instead of that. That's, that came in the 80s, this came out in the 90s. Yes, another two and a half grand keyboard. Um, this is the second one I had actually, because I had when it first came out, um, but it was the, um, it had basically a floppy disk, um, but I've changed this one to a, a USB and I've never really used it much. Because I found out that I can actually store about 80 different um, um, styles and everything in there. Like, So incidentally guys, if you've got any keyboards you want anything knowing about, or you're having a problem how they work, or you want to get the best out of them, that's the thing. It's all right having these keyboards, but to get the best out of them, you've got to know the knowledge. <laughs> and I've followed these things out ever since I was a teenager. So every, every single keyboard that came out, I was following it with the keyboard magazines and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. It's getting on for 12 o'clock, I suppose we better knock it on the head then. So, um, we'll do some stuff that people know. <laughs> and yes, it probably will be a bit of cold play and all. <laughs> Because everyone seems to want that one, so um, I always put it, I always do it like. So let's start off with the humans. This is, this is the killers. <laughs> Number six.
<laughs> no, they're not finished off with the 80s. <laughs> okay, so hope you enjoy that. Colin's in there. Hello, Colin. How you doing, mate? You try that uh, music that we did um, last Sunday um, on the old uh, te- on the old uh, Taurus. Um, I can't remember what it was now, it was uh, words, wasn't it? That's it, words. Words don't come easy, that one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all good stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. This uh, video will be on YouTube later on tonight. And I'll also be back tomorrow with the Sunday Chill. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I had a quick look. We've got about uh, quite a few tonight. We've got uh, 260 people looking around the world. So. Thank you very much. If you like my music, as always, a lot of people are. <laughs> and uh, that's the only place you're going to find it, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> I don't stream any of the music. And I don't give them, the streaming companies the pleasure. Um, so basically, there's 300 songs on there. Um, if you wanted to do a subscribe, you can get all of them in one go. Or otherwise, it's six pound an album, which works out quite expensive. But I've done a special technique, so 45 pound a year. And you get all the uh, all the music and also whatever I make within that year of what you've subscribed. So uh, it's working quite nicely. It's uh, picking up well and everyone's enjoying it. So that's good. That's good. Thank you very much for joining me anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to go into more details with the keyboards. Um, to, um, I'd say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll have the GoPro stuff on my head. GoPro. And we'll... Look into the tech, the this one here, the, the Casio. So I'll show you exactly all what it does and what uh, and how you can actually get the best out of it, and some tricks of the trade. <laughs> well, tricks of my trade anyway, because I never play in the band because I play out of tune, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> now I play right, <laughs> and you can hear the difference. <laughs> uh, yes, I play just off one semitone, which gives a nice warm and blue warm feeling. Warmer sound. It's, it's what they use in um, meditation stuff and that. That's why it's good for the brain and good for the heart and that. So, all good stuff. Anyway, guys, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, just looking at myself on the camera. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking good with that laser. I've and you've got the laser shining over there. And then I've got one thing I thought about. We need some more lights, but no, I don't think so because I've also got my big ring, ring light here. And that's that's plenty of light and of course they've got big light on top well not big light if I just go up there there you go you see you've got the light in there which is built in the camera um, so it's three three camera settings you can have it a little bit duller or a little bit uh, a little bit brighter so all good stuff okay guys well if there's any music you want me to try and learn next week I will give it a go I won't say I can do it unless I know it then I'll have to listen to it on YouTube but I will pick it up like that because that's how I made all my albums anyway <laughs> but yeah check out your, your, um, my YouTube and also check out the Bandcamp because that's where the albums come the albums come from Bandcamp I do some of my music and I make the music to go on YouTube and also my live streams here so done it for quite a long while now and not look back um, steadily getting monetized, it's getting there steadily, but it's going to take a year. That's the thing. There's no running, there's no jumping in it um, because if you pay someone to do it, you're only going to get get banned anyway. So don't get caught by those idiots. They'll say they'll, oh, we can get you this and we can get you that. No, <laughs> I don't think so, mate. I'll do it the old way. It'll take a little while, but we'll get there and it'll be all properly done and uh, not cut any corners like a lot of people do. Because the problem is they they get caught anyway. Because the thing is, um, you you ain't going to get there that fast. You've got to build your audience up and get to know them and everything. Right? This is why I talk to a lot of people around the world in a, with a translator, so I can talk to other people. Say, as my mate there just jumped on there. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it there. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. We'll do a, a bit of a section for your um, France radio um, oxygen. And uh, we'll do that. Uh, very excellent, my heartfelt regards, Professor. It calls me Professor. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Please enjoy it. Um, yes, I'm very lucky. I can just hum the tune in my head and play it. And, and that's some sort of gift there, like. And uh, also, I play 
have a, have a few pitch, so that helps. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I used to do some singing and that, but I got copyrights left, right and centre and I couldn't keep up with them, so... The trouble is, if you play it well, um, you'll get copyrighted because everyone... What it is, the algorithm thinks that you're playing it from a sheet music, which is illegal anyway, um, unless you bought it um, and put it on video. So then you get copyright, so then you can't sort that one out. Um, but because I play by ear, I'm, I have <laughs> copyright strikes, but then I fight them and um, go against them and dispute them. And I win every time because I say, well, the simple reason is I can't read music and uh, I hum the tune in my head. So if you can think that that tune's exactly the same, and then they start being, oh, well, you're going to... I say, well, I'll tell you what, I play out of tune. I play 4 3 two frequency. So, you know, how can that be exactly the same as that? Um, they give up in the end. <laughs> so uh, that's why I sometimes change my music a little bit to, to fool the algorithm. Um, because it's if, if you did it the other way, you've got to go and pay for the rights and things like that. And, oh, it takes ages, you never get anything done. So, uh, so I'm not doing it legally, I'm doing it the right way, but I'm, uh, I'm actually doing it by ear and off tune, <laughs> as a lot of people tell me. But I know that I'm right, <laughs> and they're out. <laughs> ah, it's orange is nice. I, need, I tend to live on orange now. I don't, I don't seem to have any beer anymore now. Because I like it, it's lovely. Anyway, guys, it's been good. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, we'll take a trip around the studio in the week, and uh, I will have that GoPro on my head. And I'm going to go now, see what this sounds like. It's came out pretty well. I think it has, because I did do a quick test, sound test earlier on. Yeah? Yeah, that's going quite well, um, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then I'll put that one on YouTube later on, and uh, we'll go from there. So, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again later on. We'll see you tomorrow on the Sunday Chill. See you later, guys. <laughs>